a grrr. Dirt face nigga, dirt face in this motherfucker. And y'all already know I'm in here with a banger. I ain't even do all that intro shit we coming in with. Straight motherfucking to it. You feel me? And today, in the hot seat, we got a 100K track. You feel me? We got a 100K track. Now, I don't know if it's just me or if it's y'all too. Uh, before we go any farther, hit that fucking like button. Please. That's all I ask y'all to fucking do. Get me on the algorithm. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, nigga. Because you're going to like it here. Oh, God, I keep this shit 100, dog. What are you talking about? Nigga, I keep this shit 100, nigga. So, go on subscribe for it. Come on back for the bell. And hit that like button to get me on the algorithm so other people can see me telling the motherfucking truth and let shit know going on. I don't just make music, nigga. I open my motherfucking mouth and let you know what it is. Let's get into it, though. Back to what I was saying, though. And it's a little bit strange that 100K track was Melly Manager. Like, threw it all for every team. I mean, every team. And he ain't been a not one. And I mean, not one court case. He ain't been a not one. And the police has questioned him besides Melly the most. He was Melly's manager. He picked Melly up from Fred O'Bang House, not Melly from Melly House. He picked Melly up from Fred O'Bang House. Fam, what's going on? Uh, you got interviewed multiple times and your stories are not adding up. You don't had you had three different four five stories. Uh, how you wouldn't there? Uh, what happened to the gun? You, what happened to the phone? Um, why he was at Fredo Bain House? All type of shit. But yet you have not been a one court date, one trial date. You on live going back and forth with AK King AK, but yet you can't go back and forth to court. Beats me. I don't understand. Y'all don't feel like track working with no folks for real, for real. Y'all don't feel like track set Millie up. Y'all don't feel like track has something to do with this shit. Because if that's my motherfucking artist and I'm his manager, and I picked him up from Fredo Bang House after all this shit took place, at the end of the day, that's his manager, so he definitely should be up under the co-defendant list. You know what I'm saying? He should definitely be at court, like Bortland be going to court. And the def and in defense throwing everything on Portland, Portland on all on live and she talking about son, him and Melly innocent boys. You might be, but I don't think Melly is, cause they found gun residue on your fucking shoulder, and it was gun residue on the gun though handle, but not on Melly. So it's like all the jury right now, everybody doing this to their head. They doing this to their head, cause they don't fucking know it. But my point is, nigga, track, bro. What's up with you, fam? What's up with you, fam? You good? You high or something? Something need to come to the table? You need to talk about something? Nigga, is you undercover? You undercover, we know that. Because if you wasn't undercover, you would be at that fucking court date. If you had nothing to hide, you would be at them trial dates, buddy. Oh, yeah, your name track for real. Because you motherfucking did the race. Everything through social. And you was King Von manager. And you was there when King Von died. It's like you be on the scene and then when shit go down, now you was the only scene or you was only on the scene for a certain period of time. Man, I, you smell that? I smell that. You smell that? Something smell fucking fishy on bro and them. Fucking time out. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't call it because I ain't there. I'm not checking on every court date trial they have, but I'm keeping update on this shit. Um... And to me, I feel like all this shit centered around track. I feel like if Melly did it, just to say if he if he had something to do with it, or he did it. I feel like before he did it, he told track how he was feeling. And I feel like track gave him this idea to do this shit and how to possibly cover it up. I think Melly fucked up on certain parts and had to do certain shit to, to try to cover it up. And then track had to come behind him and help him. When the police came for track and threatened about deporting him, he got shit together, but he didn't want to get rid of his artist because that's how he was making his money. But he had to do something to get from being deported. Man, Track, I need you to come in. I need you to come and comment, man. You need to know what the fuck going on, fam. You need to speak up. You need to be honest. You work for the Popos. Uh, we know Melly might not be no more. And if he is, shout out, bro. But Track, you fucked up. You're fucking up. And you got Melly fucked up. You might got Vaughn fucked up. And you ain't really a good manager, fam. You suck. 
You need to find something else to do. Man, if, if y'all feel where I'm coming from, man, hit that like button. Like I said, I'm going to tell you again before we go, hit the fucking like button. Because this shit, real, this shit, bitch. Subscribe so y'all can get more comments beside my music. Cause I'm, like I said, I'm all over YouTube now. We coming back for real, for real. And shit, comment how y'all feel. Tell me how y'all feeling this month about this shit. Like, we ain't seen track at one one court day. Yeah, he got everything to say over Instagram and Twitter and all this shit. He done did all the interviews with the police. and done answered all of them to all the questions uh, to everybody asking. But, yeah, your artist is your this is one of your biggest artists. And you have yet to show up to one of the smallest trial days. Y'all let me know, man. I'm out.